Hello everyone, I'm the Kremlin Archer and welcome to Rogue Wizards. Rogue Wizards is a uh, game from Spellbind Studios. It's coming out on the 27th of, of September, um, so in about a week. Oh. Eh, five, six days, something like that. Um, and uh, they provided me with a code a little bit early, so I was going to take a look and show you what I thought of it. I played a little bit just to make sure I understood uh, what was going on. But we're going to start a new game. We're going to be a dude who is also, like my first game is going to be called Crummy the Archer. Um, we'll play story mode, normal difficulty, and we'll start. And we'll just go in and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll learn as we go. Wayside Inn. They can't get out. Little Thought Bubble says I need a key. And so you can see that this, it's got sort of this interesting vibe of, of dropping out part of the map as you clear it, as you walk away from it, which I thought was kind of neat. So hungry. It's been, yes, almost two days since I've eaten. And you can, you can move around with the uh, WASD keys if you want. Um, there has to be something valuable in here. Oh, we're stealing stuff now? Yeah, there's some gold. Let's break some property. Um, but I find that the clicking is a little bit, a little bit, a little bit easier to handle because the grid is a little weird with the with WASD keys. A chest. Thank the elements. Now I know it's in the chest because I've already done this bit. Boom. If you're reading the scroll, no it has found you for a reason. Yours is a trial by fire. I am sorry. I cannot be more gentle. The scroll has now bound you to the to your task. Have faith. You are capable of more than you realize. Uh oh. Use positioning affecting spells like singularity to keep mon dangerous monsters away. All right. So we. Where am I? Cryptodom. So we are in a dungeon now. Picking up an diamond, click on it. Yep. And it goes in the backpack. Got our things here. Smash it. Smash it. Got ourselves a shield now. Is there anything special about that shield? Yeah. Combat systems are based on which armory and weapons you have equipped. This backpack is a place to store things. Put stuff down here to equip it. The Neophyte Buckler. Block chance 5, game 4 experience when damaged. Interesting. And you got your quest log over here, you got your bag out, you got your bag inventory, you got your backpack inventory. Looks like we need a key to open that bad boy. The swords indicate combat mode. During combat, actions occur one at a time. You can skip your turn by pressing the pause button. Can switch active things. One, two. Everybody takes a swing. So it's classic turn-based combat in the in the rogue style. All right, one more. Come on, one more. There you go. So we got some boots. Anything special about the boots? Nope, leather boots. Should probably use one of these healing potions. Ooh, another key. Just a bunch of gold. I mean, gold's nice and all. It's just not very exciting. All right, let's go back to that other thing and get... Yeah, let's use one of these. There you go. I'm gonna be caught out. Just more gold, huh? No new stuff. All right, smash it. More gold, always more gold. Yeah, take that, Mr. Skeleton. Well, oh, that's experience level. I was wondering what that that thing that was filling up there was. Hey, some other dude. Ow. Is 
I guess there are party members in this game. Hopefully he doesn't die. Come on. He seems okay. He may in fact not be able to die, since he's the first party member that we potentially could get. Might be one of those things where he has to, uh, has to survive at least in this fight. Yeah, his, his health is actually not going down at all. Who are you? I'm Palum. I've been waiting for you. Took you long enough to get here. What? You know who I am? Not specifically, but I know a magic scroll brought you here because we need you. Who's we? No time for questions. We need to fight our way back to the portal. You'll learn more when we're safe. Alright. We'll look at what we picked up here in a second. Alright, so we got a new buckler, which is worse than our other one. Got some leather boots of power. Sounds good to me. Got a buckler with sockets on it. Didn't know there were sockets. We'll put this on the bar for the hell of it. And then we found a common ring, which apparently just granted us, granted us one defense, which is not so great. I also have a spell book over here, by the way, but we don't have any spells yet. Let's head on down. Descend the stairs. Always carry plenty of materials for your spells. Okay. What is that thing? Got a blue thing around it. Well, I can't attack it, whatever it is. Oh sweet, I love crab. No eat, no eat. Don't worry, little fella, I'm not here to eat you. Come with me, this place is dangerous. Alright, now we have a snow crab on our team. Spell acquired, fireball. Your spells hold all, your spell book holds all the spells you have learned. Drag and drop the spells onto the shortcut bar so you can equip you can equip and cast them during combat. All right. Fireball dealing 35 damage with a 75% chance to ignite location. Neat. So looks like we have 10 shots of that. Let's play what that 10 in the corner means. Yeah. Okay. Not only that Elam could use magic. magic. I'm Banlet. If you didn't have a powerful ability, what scroll would have bound wouldn't have bound you? Bound? I don't like the sound of that. Um, there's there is also a base building component to this game. Um, obviously we're not there yet, but I remember in the me media that I have been given, the information I've been given, they told us about a base building component. So we'll get there. Don't worry. Switch back to my normal thing here. Oh, you cast, you cast uh, snow spells, freezing spells. That's that's nice. Oh, no, no key. All right. Horny McGee. Weak Skeleton Lord. Level 2 achieved. I really wish this guy would stop taking our money. Increase your attributes when you level up. Alright, so... Stamina. Amplifies damage from items and magic across all damage types. Increases chance for blocking critical hits, disarming traps, and detecting secrets. Increases health and ability. So let's do one of those, and then I'm gonna do one extra stamina just to have some nice, nice stuff. So you found a terrestrial staff. Hey. 
Hey. Looks like the skeleton lords, lords can raise the undead. We're gonna fireball this bad boy. This guy here. There we go. Kill him. Come on. Get in there and kill him. Get him. You just took my key, I think. Oh no. Okay, so it doesn't seem to matter who it goes to. So we now have a bow and arrow too. So let's go back and open that chest. Just some map. I want to see the map. I bet these two rooms are connected. You can teleport to the stairs too, that's neat. Alright, what's in here? I'm gonna try this bow and arrow out. I appreciate that it doesn't seem to make you specialize. It just seems to be kind of whatever you want to do. I know some people like it when the games force you into specializing and things like that, but I always like to have the option to mix it up however I see fit. Been in defense, huh? Oh, we can't use the buckler right now. We have a. We don't have a key. Alright, what is this? Another scroll. Maybe this one will lead to even better treasure. You have survived your first test. That means you're ready for training. I've created a magic rift, a place hidden from your enemies. Go there. You'll find some help to improve your skills. I would teach you myself, but I must stay hidden. The council's watching me. Just enemy. All right, yeah, yeah. Opens the portal. That's how we keep our enemies out. Come on. No, I'm actually not done yet. There's still, still place to, still stuff to see down here. What was that? Best. Uh, just, just your run-of-the-mill stuff. I need another key so I can open the, what I'm... I can just level up. I assume that's what that was. There's the key. Alright, so this is... Materials can be used to craft items. Crimson dust. I assume this is what we need to put it in. I assume that's what we need. So we can create one of these? Only five are allowed in inventory. Okay, no. We could, in theory, create one, I guess. So these are better than the boots we're wearing. That is the same. Let's go open that. Go open that box and then get moving to our secret hiding place in some sort of pocket dimension, I guess. Treasure. Is this better? Burn chance. 
Less damage, though. Hmm. Alright. Enter portal. Some dungeons contain cauldrons that let you craft more potions. Yes, I saw that. Thank you. And turret. So we got... Merle wants to speak to you with the... Alright, we're gonna have to go here first, huh? So where am I? Where's Palum? Who are you? You're at the Antaret Inn. I'm Merrill, the owner. Great, please to be tell me you have some food here. You battle your way through a dungeon, end up in a strange town, and all you can think about is your stomach? I haven't eaten in two days. Oh, wow. You look well fed. How about a shoe share? Here's a bowl of stew and some bread we just baked. Ah, oh, thanks. That's better. So what is this place? This is Antaret, a secret area in Rilfanor, hidden f from the wizard's guild by magic. A wizard named Hosprak has taken over the guild council. He's breaking the laws of Rilfanor, stealing power from the six elemental realms. Hosprak is violating the balance of elemental magic. The boundaries between the realms have weakened. The rifts are opening all over Rifnor, Rilfanor. Dangerous creatures are invading through the rifts in the world's fabric, but Hosperak cares more for power than the lives of bandits. Bandlets. My goal is to gather an army to stop him. Let's close the dangerous rifts that he's opened and make peace with the elemental realms. I'll raise a wizard's tower where you can learn more about magic and we'll talk after you visit it. Boom. Wizard's tower. Sup, y'all. Alright, so can I... Alright. Apparently right now I have to do this in order. Click on runes to spend spell points to acquire new spells upgrade. Right, so... so... We got this guy. We can upgrade it. Apparently that's the thing we're doing right now. Alright, it's fireball rank 10. Okay. And I guess these other paths we have to learn ourselves. To learn the, the starter spell for them. Alright. Back here. Grandfather's scroll found you, and that means you have great power. You don't know how to use it fully, but you'll learn. So what do I do next? Visit the supply shop and prepare your bag when you're ready to come back. Right, so. Supply depot. This vendor here are all the items they have for sale. Buy and sell items using drag and drop. Alright, so I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. Don't need this. Mm, don't need this. Uh, I guess I can get rid of this guy. Hold on to these boots for a little bit. You can buy keys. Interesting. I already talked to you. Oh. Trader in general supplies. You're a bandlet, like me. No, I am Elam, a friend to Merrill and her grandfather. The danger of Hosperak will affect us all, and my fellow Elam are fooling themselves they don't see it. Okay. Let's go over here. Hello again. Palum, what are you doing here? This is what I do in Antaret. You don't have to carry everything with you anymore. I'll keep it safe. Oh, this is like the bank. Alright, let's put this away for now. I don't really need to dump anything else. I got plenty, got plenty of room right now. Thanks, though. Hey, I'm ready to be, as I'll ever be. Remember, you're more powerful than you realize. So can I really do magic? Yes, the Elam aren't, weren't the only ones with magical power anymore. My life is about to get a lot more complicated, isn't it? Saving the world is never easy. I'm Elam. I could have stayed at my manor full of servants and lived in comfort. Instead, I'm here building this town. I guess this is better than, having a half, than being a half-starved thief. 
we defeat Hasperet, you're going to have a very good life. What do you say? I'm in. Where do we? Where do I go? Found another rift in the fabric of the world, and I'm hoping you'll find a scroll-bound friend of mine there. Destroy the rift and bring back my friend. Lastly, if you find any more of those cute pets like the one that arrived with, I'll keep them safe here at the end with me until they're fully rested and can join you. Hmm. No. It's like the fully rested pet. Interesting. Wonder if that counts what counts down while we're gone. Probably not. No, that's not really what I wanted to do. Alright, but before we do the next quest, I'm going to stop here for today. I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, consider leaving me a like. It helps me out a great deal, especially with a new series. Um, if you want to see more in the future, consider subscribing. And I'm the Criminal Archer. This is Rogue Wizards, and I'll see you later. Thanks so much.